Hello, my name is Lena and welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna do the end of the year book tag. I do this tag every year and it's time for it now. Since the end of the year is approaching, we have three months left. So what can I do in those three months? We'll see. This tag was created by Ariel Bassett years ago. So yeah information in the description box. Question number one. Are there any books you started this year that you need to finish? And I have one that I've started. I started it in September, like first book of September. And I read like 40 pages and I put it down. Not because I didn't like it, I just didn't feel like it. And it was Middle Game by Shannon Maguire. I don't know, just at this moment, I don't feel like reading this one, though I really want to and hope to finish it by the end of the year. It is about two siblings who were artificially created by a man and they were brought up separately, but they have this connection. They can feel each other or something like that. I heard a lot of good things. I know this is some people's favorite book hopefully i will get to it and hopefully i will like it i think i'm just scared that i might not enjoy it so it is hard to pick it up and read it but yeah we'll see what happens hopefully by the end of the year this will be done question number two do you have an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year I don't really know what counts as autumnal book, but since the weather like is getting colder in my part of the world and the days get shorter and nights longer, I think like thrillers are good for transition. And I have I Let You Go by Claire McIntosh. This is about a woman who runs away from I don't know if her life or just the town or whatever, she moves away, but she can't get away from her past and things that terrible things that happened. So, yeah, I think, yeah, thrillers are great transitions, maybe. I don't really know. I don't associate books or specific genres with a season of the year, like for winter, summer or spring. I don't know. So. This might be a good transition, it might not. Who knows? I will read it and then we'll see. Question number three. Is there a new release you are still waiting for? I know that House of Hunger... Is that the new book by Alexis Henderson? I really like the Year of the Witching, so I really want to read that one. But it might already be out. And then A Dowry of Blood. I know that it is coming out again. It was a self-published book and now it will be a traditionally published book. So. I really loved it. I read it in January. I probably will get a copy of that. I think those two books I'm really interested in. And both of them are vampire books. Question number four. What are three books you want to read before the end of the year? And if we don't count the book that I need to finish, then I have three books. First, I have The Castle of Tangled Magic by Sophie Anderson. And... <gasps> I just noticed there is a cat on this cover. I hadn't noticed it. I hadn't noticed it before because it's so small. But it is a cat. There's a cat. But yeah, this is, I don't know. It's the third book by the author. I've read first two, enjoyed them. And hopefully I will enjoy this one. Oh, there is a magical doorway. So is it Portal Fantasy? Looks like it is set in a castle, but I'm not sure. And it looks wintry from the cover for some reason. And then I have two sequels. One is Starside by Brandon Sanderson. This is a sequel to Skyward. I read Skyward last year and I really enjoyed it and I need to continue with the series. It is about Spencer. First uh, is more like school setting and I've heard that this is completely different. But it is a sci-fi. It is set on a planet and Spencer has a spaceship with an uh, AI that can talk. And I love those things. I love talking spaceships with personalities. So 
Yep. Another sequel is Muse of Nightmares by Lenny Taylor. This is a sequel and the last book in duology. The first one is Strange the Dreamer. And I, I liked it, but I struggled with it. So hopefully I won't struggle with the language in this one as much as in the first one. But first one followed Laszlo Strange, who was obsessed with Lost City of Weep. And one day he got a chance to go there. And he went there. And a lot of things happened. The first one ended interestingly. So we'll see how this one goes. But yeah, I really want to finish the duology. And these three books also are from the... My favorite booktubers chose books for me to read. And I need to finish them if I want to finish the recommendations from that video this year. So, yeah. Question number five. Is there a book you think could still shock you and become a favorite? There is always a chance that can happen. And since I don't know what books I'm gonna pick up for the rest of the year, I can't predict. I'm not good at predicting and I don't like plan the TBRs, except I know that I need to read these three and this one, and then I have my October TBR planned out. But I don't know if any of those books will be a five star. I'm bad at predicting, actually, if the book is going to be a five star. But we'll see. I hope I'm going to have some five star reads, but I don't know which ones might be. And question number six. Have you already started making reading plans for next year? So 2023. Kind of. But my reading plans mostly right now are including not having them. Because this year has been a struggle. I'm struggling with every reading plan almost. Except one that I finished. But... Yeah, it's not been a good year, so I think I'm gonna like take the pressure off from myself and not make reading plans and just go with the flow and see what the year brings. That's like what I think right now. Maybe when the end of the year comes and I start thinking about it more, I will figure something out or I will want to do some reading related goals. But yeah, we'll see. This is the tag, the end of the year book tag. I no, I really enjoyed these questions. I enjoy them every year. So if you want to do the tag, I'm going to leave the questions in the description box so you can easily access them. And I want to tag some people because I haven't done a tag and tagged anyone in a long while. But no pressure if you don't want to do this tag. So Hillary, Olivia and Sasha, you're tagged. Please feel free to do or not do this tag, but I would really love to see your answers to these questions. You can even answer them in the description box. Anyone, if you have any answer for these questions that you want to let me know, please leave them in the comments down below. And that's going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I don't associate like...